Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a way that you can see what your network and CPU connection were like during your class. This comes in handy if you ever have some type of weird issue during a class. For example, your video is lagging or the student's video is lagging, you get kicked out of class or the student gets kicked out of class or the parent complains about an issue with lag in the classroom. So it might leave you wondering what caused the problem? Was it my internet? Was it my computer? Was it the student's internet? Was it the student's computer? There's no way to really know sometimes when you're in the class, but if you have the business version of class in, you actually have the ability to go in and check the status of your internet and computer and your students' internet and computer during your class time. It is an excellent tool for you to see where the problem was. And if it is something with your computer, it will help you realize that you might need to do something to make your internet faster if it's an internet problem or something with your CPU on your computer. And it's also very helpful if a parent complains to you that you have an internet issue and you can look to see if it's correct, if you really do have an internet problem, or if it was possibly the student that had the problem, or was it some issue or glitch with class in? So let's take a look at how we can find this information. First, you have to log into your account from the class in website. And then from your dashboard, your main page here, you're going to want to go to account under the cl class category over here. At the top, you can search by phone number or account ID. It's automatically defaults to 86, which is China. So just change it to plus one if you're in the US and then you type in your phone number or whichever phone number you use for your account. And then you can choose the date range. So I'm looking at today. Okay, so a little bit of background on my classes today that caused me to think about this and use this today. I had four classes and two of them ran perfectly smooth, no problems whatsoever. But I had two classes that had a weird little issue. One, my PowerPoint slides, there were four slides that said loading error. It just would not show me the slide. The slide before and after worked, but that slide showed me an error. But my student was able to see the slide. So of course, I'm thinking, is this my issue? Is it my internet? Is it the student? What is going on here? Is it class in? And then I had another class where my mouse glitched and went crazy, and then I started lagging, and I had to force quit class in, re-enter. Eventually, I was able to start teaching again, and my mouse started working again. So again, I didn't know if that was my issue, class in's issue, the student's issue, because there was no other indicator that I had any internet problem during that time. So after class, all my classes were done, I came on to here to check the status of my network and my CPU to see what was the problem. So let's go to my first class, which was candy. So you can see there's lots of information here. I can see my lesson information. I can see my device information, the internet information that we're gonna be focusing on here, the time I entered, the time I left, and lesson recording history. So here I'm focusing on this section, internet information. If I go to the network chart, all you have to do is hover over. You don't have to click on anything and it will bring this chart up. It's kind of hard to see the times, but these are simply five minute increments of your class. So the network of course is showing your internet. This is the class where my PowerPoint had those missing slides. So I'm looking here and I have all green, which is excellent, 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 excellent. And it's cut short here because class ended. Now I go to my CPU and again, it doesn't say excellent, it says low, but that is excellent. We want 100%. Excellent, 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 excellent. So what does that tell me? That tells me that that PowerPoint glitch was not my problem. It was not my internet. It was not my computer. It was most likely just some random glitch with class in. 
So not a big deal. My next class had no problems. So that class was perfect besides the little glitch with my PowerPoint. Then I go to my second class with Sophia. This class, I had no problems whatsoever. I could check my chart. Excellent, 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 excellent. Here I have a darker green. That just means general. So it goes excellence the best. General is the second best. So still not bad. I have five seconds of general, 15 seconds of general, 10 seconds of general. Everything else is excellent. No problems in class. CPU, all green again. Perfect, perfect, perfect. My computer is excellent. So now let's go to my third class. This was the one where I had the big issue where my mouse was freezing up, my video was lagging, I had to force quit out of class in. I had no idea what was going on because it did not show, usually in the top left, it'll show red when you have a spike, a bad spike. It did not show that, so I was not sure what the problem was. So now let's look at my network chart for this class. Oh no, bad. Red and orange are bad. <laughs> so you can see there was a problem with my network here. But looking at it, poor, so it goes excellent, general, I think poor is next, and then awful, <laughs> red is awful, is the lowest. So I had poor a little bit, four seconds, poor zero seconds. And here I had awful for two seconds and poor for seven seconds. And this is the exact time that I had that weird glitch. So what does this tell me? This tells me I had some random network drop in my internet during this class. So it was definitely my problem, not class in, not the student, it was my internet. And one thing that I tell every teacher, and I've been saying this since the VIP kid days when people would get um, dinged for having network issues, internet issues, is it doesn't matter how good your internet is or how many classes you can teach in a row with no problems, it takes just one second, as you see, or two seconds for your network to drop for a few seconds and it's going to affect your class. I have excellent internet, 5G. I never have problems during class, but something random happened, no idea what, and it caused my network to drop for two seconds, which affected my class, causing me to force quit class in. But luckily I was able to get back in, and you can see after that, everything was excellent. So it was not a big deal. I was able to make up the class time, but I think having this chart is really eye-opening to you to see what really was the problem. Because sometimes we think, no, it was not my internet. My internet is fine. But sometimes it actually is your internet. But I go to CPU and you can see my CPU is perfect. Nothing was wrong with my computer. So my mouse issue was somehow related to the internet issue. Everything else was good. And then my last class, right after Owen, baby. Oh, look, my internet was perfect again. So class before, class after, perfect, but some random internet issue in one class. Excellent, 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 CPU. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So this is how you can see your computer and network information. So now let's think, talk about your student. So let's say your parent was having an issue with um, a class and you want to see if it was the student's internet or computer that was the problem. You can do that as well. You need their phone number. So how do you get their phone number? Well, I'm not gonna click on it and I'll tell you why. So if you go to teaching and there's the tab for students, when you click on that, it will list all of your students and it has a section for their phone number. So you would just copy, you go back to the, was it eight, six, I believe it was. I think it's at the top, oh, I don't know. I think it's eight, six, and then paste in their phone number and just like you have all this information for you, you will see the same thing for them. And the reason I'm not clicking on this to show you is because I have a class in group on the app so every teacher that has joined my group, it 
looks like they're my student. So all of those teachers' phone numbers will be listed and I don't want to expose all of their phone numbers for everybody to see. So I'm not going to click on that, but just click on students and you can find all of your students' phone numbers and you can search by their name as well. Then you just go back to account, paste their phone number in, and then you can do the same thing. Check their network chart, check their CPTU chart, and you will see if they have any issues with their internet or computer or tablet during class. It is also helpful because you can see what device they are using. So if you're wondering if they're using a computer or an iPad, you're able to see what device that student uses, which can be helpful at times as well. So hopefully this will help some teachers out there if you ever have an issue during class. Like I said, it's not really, you can't really do much with the information, but it is helpful for you to see where the problem was, if it was a problem with you, the student, or with class in. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Bye everyone.